Let's take a look at an SI5351A. Now it's a clock generator or a VFO, variable frequency oscillator, and it's programmable through a I squared C bus, okay? Now I'm using an Arduino Nano to program it, and all, there, all you do is you take a pin four and five, and you tie it to the SDL and SCL lines here, and uh, here's the module over here. Now the module does come with a couple 10K pull-up resistors, but I found that wasn't quite adequate, so I added uh, two more here, which gives me a 5K of pull-up on each line, which seems to work good. This here is just a power supply, so I can put in you know, 12 to 24 volts and get my five volts out here. Now, this is the main chip here, and what it does is we have our crystal oscillator on here, which is, happens to be 25 megahertz. And in this first stage here, this PLL, we, uh, we multiply that crystal to get our frequency out here. Now they want that to be between 600 and 900 megahertz. So we're gonna multiply it between 24 and 36. And then this second stage over here, we're gonna divide it out, okay? So in my case, we're dividing by six. Now you, you have an option of dividing out one more time here to get it down smaller, but uh, we're just gonna do multiply and then divide here, stage one and two. So now in order to program it, I'm using a, uh, a library and there's there's several libraries out there i'm using one from adafruit and the setup here and the to initialize this thing it's all done in the setup of the on the arduino program nothing in the void loop so in the setup there's just a few lines so this this uh, clock gen here uh, plla and i'm multiplying by 24 okay so if i multiply the crystal by 24 that's going to give me uh, 600 megahertz and then in this stage here, here it is here, it just says divide by six. So I'm dividing by six. And if I divide by six, I'm gonna get 100 megahertz out. So I'm gonna be putting out 100 megahertz on uh, this clock zero right here, okay? Now there's a pin for clock zero here, and also you can put it out through this, uh, through the connector here. Now, if you don't want just a, an even number, uh, you can, you know, multiply by a, a different numbers that you want here so and it but it doesn't do floating point math so you have to do a fraction okay so if I want to multiply by 24.5 I have to write it like this so 24 50 comma 50 comma 100 so that's 50 over 100 so that's one half okay so now I could write uh, 500 and a thousand so you can see how you know you can get it down to pretty close to whatever you want here and then divide again by six or eight or whatever you're going to divide by so but in this case I'm just uh, multiplying by 24 and dividing by six I'm going to get 100 megahertz out okay now the 100 megahertz coming out of there what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into a FM modulator okay so that's going to be my carrier wave okay and then I want to put a tone on there I want to modulate that carrier uh, frequency modulation and so I can pick it up on an AM FM radio so over in my Arduino here in my code in my loop here I'm just going to create a tone so in order to do that you just say tone and then 8 comma 700 that's uh, this tone is going to be on 8 and it, it's 700 Hertz okay and I'm delete for a second and then I'm going to have a uh, pin uh, pin 8 again and a tone of uh, 800 okay and i think i changed this up i think this is a half a second and one second on here now what that this tone does it puts out a square wave and so i wanted to make it more like a sine wave so i put it a little filter in here okay to convert it to a uh, to a sine wave uh, if you want to do it even better you can do uh, add two or three of these together but uh, to get the capacitance, I started with a 100 ohm resistor and to get the capacitance, I just use this formula right here. So that gives me my sine wave out into the, into the uh, tone here and then the clock zero here for my frequency. And I'm gonna modulate it together here with this, uh, this little FM modulator I put together. Now, uh, I think you could do better than this. I just kind of cobbled this thing together and, uh, but we'll see if it works. Uh, but anyway, we'll, uh, let's, let's give it a try. All right, I've got it set up, and I, 100 megahertz is in the FM uh, broadcast band, so I have a just an FM radio on my desk, and I'm playing it through. I'll turn the volume up a little bit.
They're a little loud. Anyway, it's it's working. I'll turn that off, and uh, it works. My little um, modulator isn't the best, so I'm going to work on that. But uh, it puts out a, uh, a a nice carrier wave. I put it on the scope, and it's it's right at 100 megahertz. And uh, so I might uh, take this and make it into a uh, maybe a fox hunt transmitter. Put it out on a two meter band, and uh, so um, yeah, the parts are cheap and uh, seems to, it, it, it's going to work fine. Anyway, that's the uh, SI5351. Nice little unit. I think I paid 2 or $3 for it, and it's just something uh, fun to experiment with. So, thank you.